So you've got your braces on, now you wanna learn how to take care of them. Whether you're using a manual toothbrush or an electronic toothbrush at home, all of this is gonna be pretty much the same. I want you to start from one side, pushing your bristles around close to the gum line, going all the way around in small circles until you come to the other side. You wanna make sure that the top and the bottom of the bracket is being cleaned properly. And after that, then you wanna make sure you push the bristles up and through the other side, taking maybe two to three seconds in each spot to get underneath the wire. If you don't do that part, once we take the wire off, you're gonna be noticing a lot of plaque that is stuck in between each bracket. This lower area is the most common area for people to miss plaque. Because the teeth are so small and tight together, you really wanna make sure that these bristles are all the way down. Plaque actually grows from the gum line up the tooth. So if you're getting right down here around your gum line, you're gonna ensure that the whole tooth is clean. Flossing. You're gonna use these really handy floss threaders just like this. I like to take them and kind of just curve them like that. It makes it a lot easier for you to get to the back. Once you do that, take whatever type of floss that you like to use, thread it through. I like to make a little knot in mine so that way you don't have to go through each time re-threading it. Once that's the case, you use this little stiff end here of the floss threader to go underneath the arch wire, bringing it through with the floss. Now the whole point of flossing is actually not to get in between the teeth, but to get underneath the gum line. So make sure that you're going up around one tooth and then up around the next tooth at the gum line, getting it properly clean. Ideally, you would floss first and then brush afterwards, but it doesn't really matter. So you, you wanna just make sure you're flossing at least once a day. After that, if you have anything else stuck in between your teeth, try not to pick at it. You can break brackets off that way. Try to use this toothbrush um, that's called a tree brush. It's got a little bendable head on it, so it gets into hard to reach areas. If there's a little bit of food, you can use it right here to push it through. When you first get braces, you might have some areas where your teeth are really rotated or twisted. If this is not happening for you to put it in those areas, try not to budget in there because if you do, that also can break a bracket off. If you do have any brackets come off, you can always store them in this case while you're waiting to bring them in so that we can put them back on your teeth. This is your wax. So if you have any areas where the wire may be poking you, um, maybe there's a hook and it's poking into your cheek, or maybe you just have a sore on your cheek and you're trying to get used to just having your braces on. You wanna take a little bit of this wax, roll it around into a pancake, kind of warm it up, flatten it, and then mold it over the area that's bothering you. So let's just pretend it's this tooth here. You grab it, you can mold it over the area, and then that temporarily will make sure that that area is nice and smooth for you so that you can get some relief on your cheek. In the meantime, try to do some warm salt water rinses to heal up that area and make it feel better. This will come off really easily, and you might even notice that it comes off when you eat food. That's okay if you swallow it, it's not gonna hurt you, but just do know that this is only a temporary fix. So if there's something that's really bothering you and it's not going away with just some wax, give our office a phone call and we can see about getting you in to fix it.